guys, it's Improving My Pre-Gaming. I don't even know if this is fun. Well, welcome back to History Web. History Web, is, as you know, is a series where I normally drive my mum in, but mum's not here. So, today's episode... Feels like I'm about to say, today's episode is brought to you by Kool-Aid. You can never have enough Kool-Aid, so cool on with Kool-Aid. But no, today's episode basically is just me by myself. I'm trying to rush through these episodes, so they're going to be short, this one. As I don't know how long this episode's going to take. And... Hopefully it is a short one, so I'm not boring you guys. That's all I can say. So, one of the things that I, when I grew up, I loved to learn about. And yes, we are going back to learning and all that, guys. We generally strayed away from it for a bit, but I think it's about time we get back to it. One of the stuff I learned, loved learning about was the difference between dinosaurs and how we depicted dinosaurs compared to how they actually are. One of the dinosaur species, as you all know, is a dinosaur species called Velociraptor. It is a flightless bird that runs at the speed of, well, runs quite fast. Typically, its name is Velociraptor, the flightless bird. But one of the things I wanted to bring up was the fact that during this episode, I don't know if I'm going to be pausing it, stopping it, or anything like that. I am just sorting out how I'm sorting it. So, basically, I... One sec, guys. And, yeah, sorry about that, guys. Basically, just a lot of noise happened, so I quickly stopped the recording for a second. Right, let's turn my character over here. Should be far enough. But, yeah, hopefully, guys, you've had a good week, and the weekend's been great for you. For me, it's been tiring. One thing after another, getting done. Oh, come on. And it's just hoping to get everything sorted before the weekend is finished. So I basically have actual time to relax and rest. It's one of the important things. Like I stated. There is a few fun things. It's not to take advantage of your family. And to try and help out as much as you can. It's one of the reasons why a family are meant to be a close-knitted group. Because they're always meant to help each other and basically provide assistance. It, I know I'm guilty of it myself. I've hardly done it at times. And I'm not going to shy away and hide hide the truth I actually haven't done it much myself so I know full well what it means to when you ignore family and not even help it's just one of those things that makes life easier the more you help around your family the easier your life's gonna get as your family should also help you back it's a give-and-take situation they give you help you give them help and basically it's just trying to get stuff sorted it's also trying to make sure that things are always helpful dude you go there for me please oh, these are gonna kill my dudes oh god I've now got a rush because my time limit. Each day I always have a time limit on how long I've got left for recording. And it tends to be just before a guild battle. As I told you guys, my guild battles are always on unison. And I try my best to try and sort it. But, come on. Once this guy, once this group goes through, I should be fine. Let's see. Yep, I perfectly escaped. And wow, the amount of uh, technology I've got. That's so much more than I've ever had. So yeah, as I'll say, never, <laughs> never basically... It's actually it's the same with friends. You don't want to disrespect your friends as your friends also help you out. So it's just one of those scenarios you don't want to. In it's other words, it's don't bite the hand that feeds you. 
that's the best way of saying it. Because once you do that, you're basically near enough to mess yourself over. And you can't really do much. So. It's basically just the. It's just a countdown to. Until you. Basically want to forfeit. Your piece. For. I, I wanted that. For respect. If you want peace and respect, you gotta give it. If you want respect and peace, you gotta earn it. It's a double-edged sword, in other words. You never know what you're gonna get given until you're given it. You're never given where it is until you earn it. It's quite weird when you think about it. Nothing in this world is ever earned for free. It's always earned with hard work. So why would you ever treat anything else for free? So, on that note, anyhow, I know this might be a short episode or a long episode. I don't really know because I've been coming back and forth, back and forth throughout the episode. So, I don't know if I've got it long or short. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's episode. If you have, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully you have a good weekend, and well, this year, the start of this year has been good for you. On that note, guys, see you all next time. Bye.